CSIR Indian Institute of Chemical Technology is a premier research institute working on developing green technologies which can achieve commercial viability and environmental sustainability. Over the past 15 years, BES Lab has been working on developing sustainable and eco-friendly technologies to derive energy and commodity chemicals from waste and wastewater. The persistent increase in the quantities of waste being generated over the past three decades has made it a potential feedstock for biohydrogen production. Biohydrogen production from waste was initiated in 2003 at lab scale using different reactor configuration with capacities of 100 ml to 40 liter. The lab scale operation were performed to optimize the operational parameter and increase the hydrogen productivity from different waste which include industrial effluents and municipal solid waste. The optimized configurations and operational parameters were extensively discussed and deliberated upon to design the 10 meter cube capacity biohydrogen pilot plant. The project is funded by Ministry of New and Renewable Energy through Mission Mode project. The biohydrogen pilot plant has been configured in a unique four-tier design. The first level is incorporated with a pre-hydrolysis unit and a gas compressor unit. The second level is at an elevation housing the acidogenic bioreactor of 10 meter cube capacity, buffer tank and the control for operating the pilot plant. The buffer tank is a novel incorporation in the pilot plant facility as it offers multiple applications. It is being used for feedstock prehydrolysis and redox correction and also for culture development. Also a screw pump, product mixing pump, multiple utility pump, top mixer and a buffer mixing pump are placed with precise configuration and function. The third level is the highest point with the water storage tank, inoculum tank, biohydrogen holding tank, redox correction tank and the biogas automatic flare system. The inoculum tank is used for culture enrichment with specific pretreatment techniques. It is incorporated with heater and bottom mixer. The biohydrogen holding tank is made of stainless steel to store the biohydrogen produced from the acidogenic bioreactor through a gas flow meter up to a pressure of 6 bar. The fourth level is the anaerobic bioreactor that are operated to further treat the acidogenic effluent to produce biogas and biofertilizer. Equipped with complex recirculation loop and biogas bags. Safety and control panels have given prime importance by including an automatic flare system to flare out the excess gas produced, flame-proof lights and ventilation, emergency shut-off switches, online monitoring probe and closed control panels. The unique design and configuration of the pilot plant enables low-cost consumption, ease of operation and maximum productivity in a safe environment. The feedstock is prepared using food waste collected from IICT canteen. The composite food waste is grinded and allowed to pre-hydrolyze in pre-hydrolysis unit in the first level. The pre-hydrolyzed feedstock is pumped into the buffer tank using the multi-utility pump where its pH and organic loads are adjusted. Inoculum development is the key for maximum biohydrogen production and waste utilization where BES lab has developed specific pre-treatment strategies to enrich the acidogenic cultures. The systematic maintenance of the culture is done in the environmental microbiology facility BES lab. The enriched cultures are inoculated in the broth tube initially and then biomass is made up. Inoculum preparation is performed under strict anaerobic condition with reductive environment in an anaerobic glove box. The inoculum developed is transferred to the inoculum tank on level 3 of the pilot plant. A novel dynamic biofilm matrix is developed using polypropylene matrix with high surface and are layered in the acidogenic bioreactor for biofilm formation. The operation begins with the transfer of feedstock using the buffer transfer pump and the inoculum using the screw pump to the 10 meter cube acidogenic bioreactor. 
the operation is controlled by the central control panel from a single point. Post the transfer, water is pumped to make up the volume to the working volume of 7 meter cube. Once the volume is attained, monitored by a level sensor, the content are allowed to recirculate by a product mixing pump. Once the reaction begins, the biohydrogen production is monitored through a pressure gauge equipped on the acidogenic bioreactor and a gas flow meter. The operational conditions are monitored and documented to record the functioning and production by the acidogenic bioreactor. Periodic monitoring of the reactants is done by collecting samples from specifically designed port at different levels separately for liquid samples and gaseous samples. Cumulative biohydrogen production and total gas production is monitored through gas flow meter attached to the gas output. The collected samples are analyzed qualitatively and quantitatively using advanced analytical chromatographic technique. The chromatograms provide the essential data to determine the purity and concentration of biohydrogen along with the carboxylic acid or volatile fatty acid. The biohydrogen flame test was performed with the gas produced from the acidogenic bioreactor vented from the gas sampling port. The pale blue flame almost colorless in natural light is observed. The total gas generated was almost 50,000 liter per day with a purity of around 50%. At the end of the cycle, the effluent rich in VFA can be used as liquid fertilizer for organic farming or can be fed to anaerobic digesters to recover the remaining carbon and for the production of biogas. Two anaerobic digesters with 5 meter cube and 3 meter cube capacities are designed with energy efficiency, recirculation and feeding to produce biogas. Integrated waste biorefinery is designed and constructed in continuation with the biohydrogen pilot plant facility to enable maximum carbon resource recovery and generation of bio-based products. The waste biorefinery platform was constructed with the support of CSIR Task Force project, Development of Sustainable Waste Management Technologies. The unique integrated waste biorefinery incorporates multiple bioprocesses, namely photosynthesis, bioelectrogenesis, bioanoxygenesis and ecological engineering system. The water generated from the waste biorefinery is being reused in the biohydrogen production. The biohydrogen pilot plant facility and the integrated biorefinery enable the uses of any biodegradable waste from domestic or industrial origin to produce biohydrogen, bio-based platform chemicals, biofertilizer and also remediate waste. The multiple application of biohydrogen in the energy and transportation sector enables an annual revenue generation at 100 meter cube operation with a payback period of 5 to 6 years. The biohydrogen pilot plant directly aligned with the Prime Minister national flagship programs like Swachh Bharat, Make in India, Amrut and also addresses majority of sustainable development goals. It provides environmental sustainability and driving us towards a futuristic hydrogen economy. The biohydrogen team sincerely acknowledges the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, Government of India, Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, CSIR, Government of India, Department of Biotechnology, DBT, Government of India, for funding the project and Director CSIR IACT for providing support and encouragement.